Dear Heavenly Father, we come before you today with hearts full of gratitude. Thank you for the breath in our lungs, for the opportunity to gather together, even through this medium, to delve into your word. We ask for your wisdom, guidance, and understanding as we read and reflect on your word today. May your Holy Spirit guide our thoughts enlighten our minds and soften our hearts to receive the truth and apply it in our lives. We commit this time to you, Lord, and we ask that you bless every soul who joins in this reading. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Welcome back, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. I'm so glad you've joined me today for our daily scripture reading and reflection. If you're new to the channel, I'm thrilled to have you here. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of our daily readings, reflections, and prayers. Today we are diving into powerful passages from Nehemiah, 1 Corinthians, Psalms, and Proverbs. Let's open our hearts as we listen to what the Lord has to say to us through his word. As we begin with Nehemiah chapter 9, verses 22 through 1039, we see the continued story of the Israelites as they confess their sins and renew their covenant with God. This passage emphasizes God's mercy, the people's repentance, and their commitment to live according to God's laws. Now, reflecting on this passage, we are reminded of God's endless mercy despite our constant shortcomings. The Israelites' renewed covenant challenges us to evaluate our own commitment to God. Are we living according to his laws or are we straying away? Let's take a moment to confess our own sins, to recommit ourselves to God, and to ask for his strength to walk in his ways. Lord, just as the Israelites recommitted themselves to you, we too come before you in humility. We acknowledge our sins and failures but we also recognize your boundless grace. Help us to live in a way that honors you, following your commands with a sincere heart. Thank you for your patience with us and for your constant guidance. In Jesus' name, amen. Next, we turn to 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 19 through to chapter 10, verse 13 where Paul speaks about his freedom in Christ and the need to be disciplined in our spiritual journey. He also warns against complacency and overconfidence, urging believers to remain steadfast in their faith. Paul's words are a powerful reminder that our Christian walk requires both freedom and discipline. While we are free in Christ, we must be careful not to let that freedom lead us into sin or complacency. We are in a race and we must run in such a way that we obtain the prize. Let's pray for the discipline and perseverance to stay the course. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the freedom we have in Christ, but we also ask for the discipline to use that freedom wisely. Help us to remain vigilant, not allowing ourselves to be entangled by the temptations of this world. Strengthen our faith so that we may stand firm in the face of trials and continue running the race you have set before us. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Psalm chapter 34 verses 1 through 10 is a beautiful song of praise and trust in the Lord. David writes this psalm after experiencing God's deliverance and expresses his deep trust in God's goodness. In these verses, we are invited to taste and see that the Lord is good. It is a call to place our trust fully in God, to seek Him in all circumstances, and to praise Him at all times. Let us respond to this call with a heart of gratitude and trust. Father, we echo the words of David in this psalm. We will bless your name at all times. Your praise will continually be in our mouths. We trust in your goodness and your faithfulness. No matter what we face, we know that you are with us and we take refuge in you. We thank you for your unfailing love and protection. In Jesus' name, amen. 
Finally, we come to Proverbs 21.13, a short but powerful reminder about the importance of compassion and generosity. It warns that those who shut their ears to the cry of the poor will also cry out and not be answered. This proverb challenges us to be attentive to the needs of others, especially the poor and vulnerable. Our actions toward them reflect our relationship with God. Let us ask God to open our hearts to the needs around us and to fill us with his compassion. Lord, we ask that you give us ears to hear the cries of those in need. Help us to be your hands and feet in this world, showing compassion and generosity to those who are less fortunate. May we never turn a blind eye to the suffering of others, but instead be moved by your love to act justly and mercifully. In Jesus' name, amen. So before we close, I want to pray for everyone under the sound of my voice. Wherever you are, whatever you are going through, let's lift it all up to the Lord. Gracious and loving Father, I lift up every person who has joined in this time of reflection and also lifting up everything that concerns them. You know each one by name, and Heavenly Father, I know you are intimately aware of their needs, their struggles, and their desires. I pray, Father, that you would meet them where they are, filling them with your peace, comfort, and strength. May your word continue to speak to their hearts, guiding them in truth and love. Bless them, Lord, and draw them closer to you each day. I thank you for the community we have here, for the opportunity to grow together in faith, and for your continual presence in our lives. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray with thanksgiving. Amen and amen. Thank you so much for joining me today. I truly appreciate your support and your desire to grow in your walk with God. If this video blessed you, please give it a thumbs up, share it with others, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Your continued support means so much to me, and together we can reach more souls with the message of God's love. May the Lord bless you and keep you, and I look forward to seeing you in our next video. Until then, stay blessed.